Ah, sniff, sniff, smell. Okay, go. Yes, do it. There we are. <laughs> On to the next tree. Hello, my name is Marianne Darbo and uh, I'm an actress and uh, I'm saying hello to Georgia, to BBC and thank you, Marlo. <laughs> When I asked uh, uh, the, the, the actresses uh, in uh, the documentary that I made uh, on the Bond girls, uh, Bond girls are forever, um, when I asked them about uh, what it did mean for them to be a Bond girl, I think all of them pretty much at the end said, well, we're part of an exclusive club. You know, not that many are part of the, the, the Bond girls club and it's an exclusive club. As a child, I used to dress up when I was a little kid. I used to dress up in my mum's high, she, high heels, you know, and I wanted to be a grown-up. So it was my dream to be a grown-up very fast, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to do things, to be free and to perform. I didn't realise what it meant, you know. Uh, I didn't realise how hard it is to be an actor. Uh, and the life of an actor is, is really the life of a gypsy, it's really... It's, uh, it's not easy um, if you want to have a family and all that. But, uh, but yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I wanted to perform and disguise. And actually, at the time, I was so eager to go to America because, you know, I was born in 1960. I don't know, it's sort of, sort of the, the American dream, the, the, the romance of America in the 60s, of what was happening over there and the 70s, you know. I always dreamt of going over there, and I did, and I ended up living in America for 10 years. Uh, and then you see the reality of many things in America, but but it was the land of opportunity. It was the American dream. Georgia came to me later, the dream of uh, discovering Georgia. That came to me in my 30s, you know, when I wanted to really get a feel of Georgia and find out more about my roots and who, what was, who was my family. So, this picture is a picture of my uh, grandfather and my grandmother. My grandfather being General Kvinitazi, Georgi Kvinitazi, and my grandmother, Mariam Mahashvili, was her, her maiden's name until she married my grandfather and became Mariam Kvinitazi. My grandfather got lots of medals. He was a general under the Tsar regime, and when he left, uh, Russia to go back to Georgia to when it was independent when the Tsars you know fell um, he was back at 40 years old and he was in Tbilisi and, uh, and uh, he had a lot to do with making the military school much better and then uh, he created a, an independent army first independent army in Georgia yes so um, I never knew him as a general but I knew him as a uh, grandfather I made him laugh. He used to call me Malinka Dushka. Yeah, he just he was very entertained by me because I was like being a little clown with him. I um, just saw him as a wonderful personality, great character, and it was always great meals at the house and speeches and tamadas and lots of food. So my husband, Hugh Hudson, who's a filmmaker, um, he um, obviously witnessed me being ill and was there and looked after me and cared for me. And because he experienced the whole journey of me getting back and recovering, and I was constantly, you know, in an existentialist place, not understanding what had happened and wanting to do something, you know, but not having the confidence. And he inspired me, he said, go, go, go do this film, you know, and I'll support you uh, and, and back it up. And so I went off to LA and, and, and uh, started shooting. Um, and when I came back, um, Hugh directed, you know, 
all the, the stuff we did in England. In fact, so he directed the film um, and I produced it with him and uh, I don't think I would be would been able to have made it without it. So the film brings uh, a certain amount of knowledge which will help. It can be prevented, so you can prevent. I for six months probably had a leak in my artery because this bulge was growing, this, this, this balloon of blood, because I had such bad headaches and then this bulge burst. If I'd had an MRI or a CAT scan three months before, I, I'm, I'm convinced uh, they would have been able to uh, stop it from happening because the rupture is what's, da what's dangerous because that's what damage the blood damages the brain because it goes into the brain and you die or you you're very badly disabled. So and yeah, we're 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 25 percent of us who who make it back. So I'm very blessed. Thank you.